In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm looking to take advantage of this recent volatility. Inside of both the S&P and the Qs, we're starting to hit key levels where I'm happy to start to place some automated orders to purchase whenever certain conditions are met. In this video, I'll take you through exactly the orders I'm placing and how to place them yourselves for all of our Volatility Box members. Now, first off, the S&P 500. We're filling the open gap level that I had at 505.89. This is from May 2024. Two additional levels below us, but to me, we're closer towards the bottom where I think we're likely to see a bounce than we are to keep continuing to see lower lows, maybe even below 480. I'm happy to start to place orders to purchase whenever we have a volatility edge. Now in this video, the order I'm going to show you how to place for all of our stock volatility box members is to purchase whenever price gets outside of our volatility box clouds. Now keep in mind this is completely experimental. I'm taking you through the process in this video. You'll see how I place the order. You'll be able to see the same process to follow yourself. And I'll make an update throughout the week if and when we get a fill. Here's an example of when we would have gotten a fill with Friday's activity. We're looking to purchase when price goes outside of the cloud, so aggressive fill would have been here. Conservative volatility box fill would have been right here whenever price breached outside of the clouds. So I'm looking to take advantage of these moves that you see here, long side only. Same thing inside of the queues. If I come inside of the queues, we can see with our stock volatility box models, this was the first buy side on Friday, and the second one triggered at the end of the day. Now to create this automated order, the first thing we need to do is get the model. So choose the markets. I'm going to use SPY, QQQ, VOO, and VGT for my example. You can choose whichever markets, stocks, ETFs that you want. Once you do that, click Generate Indicator, and this will then give you the option to download both the hourly along with the daily models. I'm going to download the daily models. This will download two files onto my machine the aggressive and the conservative models. Let me change the color here so it's a little easy to see. Aggressive and conservative for the daily models, VBD. Now, since we're going to connect this to an automated script, I want to change the names here just so it's a little easy to reference and I don't have to type out this long thing. So I'll just say TI underscore VBD auto, and I'm going to call this VBD A for aggressive, or excuse me, C for conservative and a for aggressive here, and we're going to give this the same name, auto. Now, once I have these two studies, I can import them straight into Thinkorswim. So let's click the studies icon, import. I can select both of these studies, open. And now if we were to search for VBDA, we can see we now have the VBDA underscore auto study. Now let's go ahead and load those two studies onto our chart. So I'm going to get a clean chart here. And we had VBDA auto and VBDC auto. And inside of both of these indicator files, at the very bottom of the code, I'm going to paste in this snippet. For all Volatility Box members, I have a second part to this video in which I show you how to do this in a little bit slower step-by-step -step detail so you can follow along. In this video, I've already pasted both of them. So now if I click apply, we can see the updated models for this upcoming week's activity ready to go. And we're now going to connect the orders to buy whenever price gets to the bottom or the outer edge of our volatility box clouds. Now to do that, I need to simply right click, buy or buy custom if you want a stop, otherwise buy. Inside of this order panel, click the settings icon Start by adjusting your quantity. Since this is experimental, I'm going to use a very small quantity here. But once we up it, keep in mind that this is where the position can start to work for you, especially think or swim. I'm going to make this a GTC order. Let's add in the condition. This symbol will autofill to QQQ. Study, edit, think script editor. And here I can simply say plot signal is equal to TI underscore VBDA auto, and we can say auto buy. That was the name of the uh, variable that we added. If this variable is true, then go ahead and purchase. I'm going to go on a two minute chart just so we can get to some level of granularity. Okay, I'm going to join the bid since I'm looking to join the bid. 
I'm not really going to worry about an offset here. You could try and get a little greedy here if you want. Otherwise, just leave it as is. Make sure the order is GTC, or at least I'm going to make sure it is. Save, confirm, and send. And just like that, Thinkorswim is now going to automatically wait. And now if price gets on the outer edge of our aggressive volatility box clouds, Thinkorswim will automatically join the bid. Let's repeat the process for the conservative clouds here. So I'm going to right click, open up the order rules panel. Let's say here we want to make this a full five shares, but we add three shares here at the conservative models. Symbol, which auto fills to QQQ. Study, I'm going to place in the same code here, except this time I'll say plot signal is equal to TIVBDC. And then we have auto. And then auto buy. And for all Volatility Box members, again, the step-by-step -step video shows you how to do this in more detail, and it'll show you how to streamline this process as well. So here I'm showing you the full detail, but you can obviously um, go through this a little bit faster once you get the hang of it. I'll click Save, Confirm and Send, and now Thinkorswim is automatically waiting and watching to build up a, in this case, a five share position. Two shares if we get to the outer edge of the aggressive clouds, three shares if we get to the outer edge of the conservative clouds. Here I place the order for the queues. You can repeat this for whichever markets buy VGT, VOO, make them GTC orders, and that way Thinkorswim is doing the heavy lifting for you. I hope you found this video helpful for those of you looking for ways to take advantage of this volatility. One more time, here's an example of the type of trade that we were looking to capitalize on. Whenever price goes outside of our volatility box clouds, I want to automatically purchase without needing to sit there and waiting and watching, especially in key index markets like the S&P and the NASDAQ. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I'll see you in the next update.